right, let's play this in full. There you go. Let's play this one more time. It's a shorter clip. Alrighty. You are mentioning here that you have established your timing and your poses. This is still in linear except the root. Just kind of feel things out. I have some really cool stuff in there. I think currently right now the only thing that strikes me because this is potentially because of this, just the early spliny nature of it. I think everything is cool. I think once you get in there, even though I do see an offset here, it's not that bad. It's just it struck me with those hands coming up together like like claws here, and I know I see that it's offset, and I see the offset especially through here. There's just something about these where maybe as you come up, just one is just rotated over just a bit more, uh, and with maybe more relaxed thumb, not to have those Lego Lego figurine. A Lego figs uh, claw hands. Just that's the only thing that struck me there. But I like, I like that you have how knee go out and then the legs go out first, kind of reposition and then to get up. Just watch out as you get into this. Even though you said spline, this seems like a linear key on that root here. To me, what I would work on is because you got some cool details. He goes back. It's ready. That. But then this seems into this. I wonder if you can push this a bit more is this something where potentially as you ease out of this is the butt going up first with the more of a lean over with the head or is now the body going forward with a bit of a straightening of the back and the head is around here to then straighten up to get up here so it's kind of a like that or is it something where even though there's this and they're both kind of the same are you going to potentially push off with this more as this seems maybe further back than this and have a more overall lean this way that then ends up in something like this you know what I mean because yeah you, you could have a lean that's a potential bit further and then step back into this I think we could have a bit more information in terms of how the character gets up from here to here instead of just literally uh linearly coming out and this seems a bit too simple just a bit but I'm also very picky here. But other than that, I think there's some really cool stuff there. It just probably also slowing potentially that down a bit more. Not that it has to be an old person getting up into this. But it is an it is pretty pretty I'd say pretty not too fast. But I feel like it's probably also a linear key that does this. But it's a little bit of more information again. Splining this and easing out of this and giving us a bit more information of how you know lean forward or lean up or a side lean just a bit more complexity there could be cool on this but when i watched this for the first time the things that struck me were that coming out quickly but then i thought oh, that's not too bad why not but then the second thing was and maybe it's because of the speed here the contrast of once you get to here it's it gets very spliny with swingy arms and you got both arms kind of swinging back kind of at the same time. Because everything gets kind of soft. You look at his head too. Set that chin goes down there. You want to be careful with uh, those spliny, flowy moves on a head. Like it, it's, to me, it seems a person. It seems like a person who's who's dizzy, Ooh, tired, drunk. Well, they're drunk, but it's just not quite there. But this seems to have a lot of purpose. So, well. It's Tuesday, let's get up. Oh, I'm so dizzy. Maybe I should have gotten up a bit slower. Like these are kind of the things that I'm seeing here. So for me, I would probably I would keep this because I like this a lot here. But then she just tightened this up a bit more with a more direct and more distinct sidestep into a settle. And then that's it. Now I know this is just an exercise, but we can still kind of look at general timing and pushing things to be a bit less contrasty where i'm not sure where this i'm not, I'm not sure if this is intentional if you want this to be so determined and then being a bit dizzy loose um you know unless you want to push this now even further where it is a bit oh i'm dizzy and then you bring up arms and there's some more acting going on like you know, oh i'm so my head is all spinning but i think you want to keep this just in the exercise world so me personally i would tighten this end up a bit more um you do have a question here about working with arcs and tools and things i'm going to reply to this in email form here um so let's continue this in email form and that's it from me for this thanks all right 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.